to my channel and we have something new here we have a lot of LED flashers this one we have the Isake oscillator powered by 12 volts and then transistor LED flasher also a uh, Isake oscillator powered by 12 volts and we also have the relay LED flasher 12 volts Five, five, five timer LED flasher, nine volts, sinking current, and this one, this is sourcing current. We also have the transistor LED flasher, a switchboard made up of two transistors and capacitor and a resistor. I also have the Arduino LED flasher powered by 9 volts and our latest LED flasher made of O amps LN741 CN operational amplifier. is our LED flashers. Let us see the circuit diagram of this uh, LED flasher operational amplifier. Okay, let's make some circuit analysis using a uh, power pipe. So we have the schematic symbol. And then we have the pin out, pin 1 of signal, inverting input, pin 2, non-inverting input, pin 3, negative voltage supply, pin 4, 5 of signal, 6, voltage output, 7, positive voltage supply, 8, no connection. We now come into the LED flasher circuit. So, this is now the circuit diagram. And this circuit, we are using a single voltage supply. It means negative BCC and the ground is the same. And this circuit functions as a A-stable multivibrator. It means it keeps on changing its uh, output so it has no stable state. It functions as an oscillator. It flows back and forth. This is a square wave generator. So when we apply a voltage supply into the circuit, current flows into the BCC, into the R1, D1, and to the ground. We need this power LED to know that the circuit is on. We need to calculate the value of R1 to limit the current that flows into the LED. We are going to use the Kirchhoff's voltage law that states sum of all voltages in a closed loop is equal to zero. BCC minus BR1, BD1 equals zero. Transposition, substitution, and we have the voltage drop at R1, seven volts. Why are we using two volts here? That is in the data sheet of the LED. Two volts to turn on the LED. Using uh, Ohm's law BIR for solving the value of R1, we get seven volts divided by 0 0.02 ampere. And I'm using R1 which is equal to 350 ohms. This is the computed value of R1, 350 ohms. Why I use 0.02 here? That is because the current that flows into the R1 is equal to the current that flows into the T1. Current law. Current needed to turn on the LED is 0.02. So, current at R1 is equal to the current at D1. 
and we have now the value of R1 350 ohms and I'm using 5 kilo ohms to decrease the brightness of the LED and now LED turns on we got now the first value of R1 5k applying an input voltage will cause the circuit to oscillate the internal noise is being amplified that's why there is an oscillation in the circuit so we have now this a positive voltage half cycle plus BCC 9 volts also the current flows into the the negative or the the current flows also in the inverting terminal causing another oscillation we get negative BCC which is equal to the ground because we are using a single source it behaves like uh, a normal uh, alternating current but this circuit can produce a square wave so this is now the square wave generated by the circuit it has a uh, positive BCC 9 volts negative BCC and ground the same negative 9 volts you can see here a single supply waveform oscillation we got now the zero or the ground and uh, it seems that we're having a, a half cycle a negative half cycle to the output because inside the circuit we have the voltage phase shifter inside the circuit of the op amp producing this uh, non-inverting and inverting waveform and virtual ground is created which is located at the center as you can see here current flows into the R2, R3 and then R4 causing an oscillation and a voltage divider there is now a potential difference between the two input that is the reference voltage and capacitor is not charging let us use 100k for R2, R3, R4 and we are going to compute for the voltage reference when capacitor is not charging it creates a voltage divider between the R3 and R4 using the formula voltage R3 which is the reference voltage plus BCC R3 divided by R3 plus R4 we got positive 4.5 volts and also it swings into the negative input rail because we have two input but opposite in direction there's a both potential difference created in the voltage at the capacitor using the formula negative BCC R3 divided by R3 plus R4 and we got negative 4.5 volts this is now the voltage swing between the positive and the negative input of the circuit Capacitor now is starts charging through non-inverting input. It charges to non-inverting input, and this is now the waveform. And when the capacitor is fully charged, it starts discharging through negative plus to the to back and then to the output that is now the discharging of the capacitor this is now the discharging at the inverting input so the oscillation occurs because of the charging and the discharging effect of the capacitor the output LED turns on because of the discharging effect of the capacitor in the circuit 
to calculate for the time period that is T charging and discharging of the capacitor we using the formula T is equal to RC natural log of uh, 1 plus B or the frequency of oscillation and uh, we're using 11.5 mega ohms this is arbitrary value C or C1.1 microfarad and uh, we're using the formula solving for the feedback oscillation 0 0.5 that is an R3 divided by uh, R3 plus R4 0.5 substitute it to the time period that's why we have this uh, time period first we need to compute for the feedback oscillation and for the frequency 1 over time period and we have now 0.395 hertz that is the frequency we're now going to solve for the value of the R5, the output resistor. Now the capacitor is discharging through the output. And the uh, LED turns on. Solving now for the value of R5 using KBL, BCC, minus voltage drop R5 D2 since we know the voltage output is equal to 9 volts so using KBL we got voltage drop at R5 7 volts data sheet 2 volts also using the ohms law we got now uh, 270 now the op amp LED flasher that is the arthropod diagram or the toy diagram of my circuit okay thank you for watching bye bye